Eric the Master Blaster back with you, segment two. Remember, if you don't have the paperwork, don't do it at home. All right, we have the column completely packed with cannabis. Remember, the difference between this kind of extraction and what BHO used to be with this stupid glass tube um, and using isobutane or an isopropyl alcohol extraction, you know, is a thing of the past. It's poisonous. So I use something called inbutane. Um, I use a 50 gallon tank. Um, it is a combination of pure, pure butane and propane. Um, you can go online and get that anywhere. Okay, so I have used the vacuum pump and I have pulled a vacuum down into this. This column is completely vacuumed down. So as soon as I turn the valve on, frozen butane slams down into this column and you can let it sit there by watching the gauge and basically the solvent is removing all of the CBDs, all of the CBNs and all of the THC uh, from the cannabis to make a medical product. Again, I use Crop King seeds to grow everything that I do. All right, so let's slam a little bit more butane in there. There we go. Now we're going to open up the base. Now the difference is you'll see it slowly start dribbling. Now that we have all the valves on, you see it slowly dribbling, which is the difference. You know, I'm Eric the Master Blaster, but when you were blasting with this stuff, you put a can on there and it hissed and blew stuff out and uh, most of it went out into the atmosphere, which is why I have a receiver flask. Everything is completely contained. And you notice it dribbling. It's because the solvent sat in there for a while. And I don't know if on video you can see the color, but that is a beautiful. You can see the oil coating the side of the flask. I mean, this is medical extraction that only Crop King seeds can produce. Um, all right. Uh, I guess uh, it's going to have to finish out. It takes a bit, a bit of a minute. Um, we'll go back inside and we're going to talk about what we do after it's extracted. I do a double purge. I, I don't just use a vacuum chamber. Most people just take this, put it into a vacuum chamber, and uh, consider that uh, a, a degassed product. I don't believe in that. I will take this, we will put it in ethyl alcohol, we will freeze it for 24 hours, then we will go into a vacuum chamber after we evaporate. So, Eric the Master Blaster out on blast day.